Welcome. In this video, we will go over C++ input and output. So let's go over input statements first. Input statements are used to store input from the user into a variable. And they have syntax that looks just like this. You are going to use this CN, which tells the compiler, hey, I want input from the user. Then you use the stream extraction operator, which extracts input from the input stream, and the input stream is taken in from the keyboard. And that input from the input stream is going to get put into the variable on the right-hand side of this operator. And that looks just like this. So we could have some integer, which could be a starting number, and then we could use our CN, with the stream extraction operator, and then we can extract some input from the user and put that into starting number. So let's take a look at that in a code example. So here we have a main function, and in here we have a string, and that string is called name, and we can take that input in from the input stream using cn, the stream extraction operator, and then putting a variable which we want to input into. So if we come over here and compile this program, you see it will compile, and then we can run it with dot slash a dot out, and you see the program will hang, and once I type some input and hit enter, it will take in that input into the program. But that's not really very interactive because there's nothing really being output from the program. So let us look at how to output from our programs. To output from our programs, we use output statements. And output statements are able to output variables and expressions from the program to the standard output device. And in the case of this class, that is just gonna be our terminal. This is the standard syntax for a output statement where you have some C out. See, this differs from input because you have C out instead of C in, and then the arrows point towards the C out in this case, and then you put some variable expression or manipulator here. We'll talk much more about expressions and manipulators in later videos. Um, and we'll only go over one manipulator in this video. No expressions will be gone over in this video. So this is called the stream insertion operator, and it is going to insert output to the output stream. And the output stream is visualized on the standard output device, which again is the terminal in the case of this class. And then there is one manipulator that we do use pretty frequently with output statements, and that will be this end line manipulator. And this basically says break to a new line from this C out. So if we output some variable and then put end line at the end of it, we will, we will get a line break after that variable. And we'll see that here in just a second. So here is a simple Example of outputting, we have some string which is UNLV contained in this name, and then we output it to the screen using the C out syntax with the stream insertion operator and then some variable over here. So let's now look at an example of input and output from a program. Again, we just have a simple main function here with some lines of code inside of it. We make a string called name, and then we output a prompt to the user saying, hey, enter a name. The program will then wait for the user to input a name, which will get stored into this name variable, and then the program will output to the user the name that they entered. So let's come over here and compile our program using G++ and the name of our program. And once it compiles, we can run it with dot slash a dot out. And you see we get enter a name. And if I enter Alex, we get you entered Alex output to the screen. If I run it again and I enter a different name, such as Tom, 
you see you get you entered Tom output to the screen. And that is pretty much all you need to know about input and output in C++. Thank you for watching and see you in the next.